Join us in a quest to find your inner self, as I and three students did in 1988. Coast to coast, New York to California. It was hard and fast, but we got you. Since then, Guru Dan Asanto has compared Master Axe's ideals to those of his student, Bruce Lee. From 89 in Las Vegas to 93 in Maui, we stood toe to toe with the best, be it proving ourselves where it counts on the mats or standing unopposed in the breaking division. Winter brought the heaviest snow I'd ever seen. The snow fell steadily all through the night. And when I woke up, the room was filled with light and silence. And I knew then it was to be a magical day. Thank you. 
Whoa, whoa, me dears. What? Oh, stop. Hooray. Home again. Oh, me feet are frozen. All right, all right. There you are, my dears. Oh, that's it for another blooming year. You're thinking. Don't know what he's blooming well moaning about. Life of Riley. Bed of blooming roses. Wonder what he does with the other 364 days. Well, I'll let you into a big blooming secret. For a start, there's the reindeer to see to every day. Then there's the garden and me blooming veggie patch. Housework, shopping. In fact, last year I was so blooming fed up with it all, I decided to do something about it. Embassy Siege. Take command of an elite hostage rescue team. Use your skill and ingenuity to outwit terrorist leaders. Employ strategic planning to penetrate the defences of arch-criminals and trained terrorists. Quick thinking, initiative and lightning reflexes will be vital in your missions to outmanoeuvre ruthless terrorists and release their hostages unharmed. The MCC, or Mobile Command Center. This is where it all happens. The nerve center of any hostage rescue operation. I have just received a report of terrorist activity. Collect your squad and prepare for action immediately. A group of armed men have entered the cottage of local businessman Robert Merwell. The leader of the terrorists has identified himself as a Mr. Alberto Sanchez. He's demanding access to the national news network. If he's not given airtime, he has threatened to shoot Merwell and his family. It's imperative that this incident is cleared up quickly. I need to get more information on the situation before planning a rescue. Next, to see who I'm up against. I can order research into people and places from here. Now I need to choose my team, men whose skills best fit the current mission and select their equipment. I like to use the blueprints to deploy my personnel into their start positions. Once I tell them where to go, they'll try and get there. But I need to keep an eye on them in case something goes wrong. Everyone is in their start positions. Just a quick check to see if research has uncovered anything unexpected. 
What are you waiting for? I would strongly advise you to get moving, and quickly. Okay, Squad One, go. First thing to do is to take out the terrorists in the garage. We need to knock out the generator supplying the cottage's security systems. Two down. Garage secure. Generator down. Okay, Squad Two, go. One down. Lost one. One down. All hostages secure. One more terrorist down, and all of the hostages released without a scratch. Only one more terrorist left. He must be upstairs. Got him. One down. How secure? Well done. You ended the siege reasonably efficiently. But you were lucky that you were up against a group of amateurs. There are other, better trained terrorists, and you will have to improve if you wish to remain in charge. Embassy Siege, an action strategy interactive CD product. Communicate with your head office via the video phone link. Receive briefing, debriefing, and progress reports before and during every level. Gather in-depth information on each location, on the hostages, and their captors. Each scenario presents a challenging objective with a variety of characters in a new location. Many different graphic zones, including desert encampments, airports, industrial complexes, trains, houses, archaeological sites, military installations, animated introduction sequence. real-time action. Multiple firearms, electronic monitoring equipment, explosive devices, and team specialists. Available on PC CD-ROM, 3DO and Super Consoles. Completion, first quarter 1995. There are plenty of ghost towns in the West that died when the silver ran out. The silver load is kind of different. Deep in the desert, miles from anywhere, and always surrounded by storms. It hasn't produced any silver in years, but there's still people in it. Few go there, except by chance, and those that do don't stay any longer than they have to. Ask them why, there's nothing they can put their finger on. Maybe a strange look to the folks there an offhand manner that can change to being too friendly by half. Violent? No more than any other frontier town where life and guns are cheap. Some have headed that way and never been seen again. But Indians in the desert are enough to count for that. You're a bounty hunter, a man who lives by his wits and his gun. Right now, that's about all you have, since your horse broke its leg in a gopher hole and you had to shoot it. Heading for the nearest sign of life, it turns out to be a group of settlers. 
They've lost two of their horses to wolves and claim people from the town have kidnapped one of their boys. It's nothing to you until they offer to pay you to rescue him. Pay you enough to buy a new horse and saddle in town and then ride off in another direction. Only one hotel in the town, no sign of horses. Live ones, that is. Something funny going on. And they don't like nosy strangers. Welcome to Silverload. A town with one hell of a nightlife. Salam efendi. Welcome to Alexandria. More than 2,000 years old, but now a thriving modern city with luxurious hotels, fashionable bars, and interrogation shops. Explore the maze of twisting streets that form its plaza with their colorful inhabitants and visit one of its traditional cafes. But don't forget to visit its museum, for this is also the city of Alexander site of the greatest library in the ancient world and those with an eye for a bargain may still find treasure from those days. Beware though, for such things are not always what they seem and the past can return to haunt the present. believe you if you told them of such things only a few but you will need their help if you are to follow the trail of the scroll for beneath the modern city still lies the ancient one a place of mystery and danger Welcome to Alexandra, the adventure of a lifetime unfolds before you. Two thousand years ago, the planet Zarg was engulfed in bloody wars. The peaceful scientific Flinards had seen all but their capital city taken by the Quarriers. In a final effort to save their civilization, top Flinardian scientists developed a massive machine which ripped 25 vast chunks of land from the surface, including the capital city itself, and floated them high into the Zargon sky, safely out of the reach of the battles below for the time being. The mining authorities on the planet want this machine with it they could extract the riches from deep under the surface. Recent developments have created the Zargon flying machine. And with this, you have the mission of traveling up to the Flanagan lands and unlocking the secret. But it won't be easy. The Flanagans have not been idle. A huge shield generator surrounds their capital city which must be unlocked by destroying the 25 generators. Having carefully picked a team of five diggers, your mission begins. Explore 30 huge levels consisting of five distinct terrain types. Battle through the dense foliage of the jungle levels. through the icy chill of the Arctic. Fight the heat of the volcanoes.
and explore the ruined cities abandoned by the Flinards as they work to defend their capital city. Look out for the asteroid levels packed with riches but primed to explode automatically. An extensive range of equipment is available in the Zargon shop, such as the guided missile launcher and flying explosives. Build up the fuel necessary to proceed to the next level and receive helpful advice directly from the Zargon Mineral Trading Authority on the planet's surface. With all the Flinage and shield generators destroyed and sufficient fuel, you can reach the final goal the Flanagan central capital. What will await you inside? Where are the Flanagan? What will they do? How will they survive?